the whole family together. It is just what we need. Olivia being good for once. She promised not to be naughty today, which is a good thing. And a very welcome change. I'm going to keep my father. There's a good girl. Hi guys, it's speedyfan 5 minutes no and um, I can't see it anywhere you know the bus I'm waiting for is the 1493 and every 5 minutes my ass so I guess if it's not coming then <clears throat> screw the bus and make it him Well, oh, now it decides to turn up just as I'm leaving to go home. <sighs> the county of Portsmouth, oh, sorry, the town of Portsampton, please. Thank you, wanker. It is nice to be living in the house I grew up in. I wish my parents weren't sent to a retirement home. Mum. Olivia, what's wrong? Are you sure you don't mind looking after this naughty little madam while I'm at work? Absolutely, I'm always happy to help my children when they need it. Uh, shall I go and get you a room? I beg your pardon? Rose, was that a bit of cheek I heard? Rose, what have I told you about making the dirty joke? Not because it's naughty. Oh Rose, you naughty girl. Making a dirty joke. You're six years old, that is highly inappropriate. What are you gonna do? For starters here's what you're going to do. You are going to behave yourself. I will not have you being naughty, is that clear? Clear as a bell. Just so you know, if you do misbehave, you will be punished for it. Also clear as a bell. Good girl. Say goodbye to mummy and come and sit down. Bye mummy. Bye, sweetheart. See you later. I love you. I love you too, mummy. Have a seat, darling. Naughty me. What have you done? I'm not wearing a nappy for starters. I think I can trust you to use the toilet. What if I don't use the toilet? It'll be an appeal, so whenever you need to go just get yourself to the toilet. Hello Grandma. Hello Laura. What brings you here? I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop in for a visit. I'm always glad to see my grandchildren. I see you're looking after Rose while Aunt Olivia is at work. I am indeed. Don't you have? What is that horrible smell? Rose, you haven't weed yourself have you? Stand up and let me check. Turn around. Yes, she has. Look at me, Rose. I'm sorry. It's too late for that. I'm going to have to put a nappy on you now. That's very naughty. How dare you wet yourself on my sofa? 
Naughty girl Rose. Lie down and I will put you a nappy on. Now, you are so naughty for wetting yourself. So very naughty. I thought I could trust you to be a big girl. Mum, why are you putting a nappy on Rose? She wet herself. Rose, if you wet yourself then that's naughty isn't it? Okay. No Rose, at your age wetting yourself is very naughty, you ought to know better. No wonder you keep ending up in nappies. Sit there and think about what you've done. Naughty girl, I'm very cross with you. Naughty little girl. What's going on? Your naughty cousin here thinks it's appropriate to wet herself. She's wearing a nappy because of it. Here you are. Here I am. Molly, look at me. Somebody didn't make her bed this morning. That's naughty, Molly you're fifteen now. You should know how to be tidy. Are you cross with me? No, I'm just very disappointed that my daughter doesn't care about her bedroom. I care about my room, obviously. Otherwise I'd have given it one of those expensive makeovers. Molly Rose Sanchez. What did you just say to me? I said if I didn't care about my room I'd have made it over. Maybe if you weren't deaf and stupid you'd have heard me. Molly, I've never heard you speak to your mother like that before. What is wrong with you? That's very naughty. That does it. I have had it with your attitude. How dare you speak to me like that? You are grounded for three weeks. When we get home you are going to your room. I'll leave you to it mum. And you need to change Rose's nappy. Time to change your nappy now, Rose. Let's get this wet nappy off you, clean you up and put a clean nappy on you now. What's next? Well, that depends on your behavior. If you're going to be good there's more fun to be had. If you're going to be naughty, you'll go in time out. You've got to be fucking joking. What have I told you about that language? You're very naughty to use it again after being warned. Sit on the sofa and think about what you've done. Naughty girl, mummy will hear about this. Hi grandma. Hello James and Millie, my two lovely young adult grandchildren. Seeing as we are 18 now. Yes, we are young adults. How are you anyway? Very busy, as I'm looking after this naughty little madam here while Olivia's at work. What did she do this time? First, she wet herself on the sofa, for which I put her in nappies. And then she swore after having been warned about it. That's very naughty of you, Rose. I'd have thought that at six years old you know better. I do. Rose, was that a fib I just heard? No. It sounded like one. Rose, are you being naughty again? No, mummy. She's fibbing to you, Olivia. She is being naughty. As a matter of fact, she's been very naughty all day. I even had to put nappies on her. Rose Amber Sanchez, look at me right now. How dare you think it's appropriate to be naughty for Grandma while I'm at work? That is not what I expect to hear. I can tell you have a nappy on, because it's wet and messy. By the smell in the air. Lay down and we'll change your nappy. And then get you home to bed. Who's the naughty girl who didn't change her daughter's nappy properly this morning? What are you talking about? Olivia, you forgot to put a clean nappy on Rose when you got her up this morning. That's very naughty of you. You know she can't stay clean and dry. Naughty mummy. Very naughty mummy, as punishment for forgetting to put your daughter into a clean nappy this morning, I'm putting you in nappies for a month. You and Rose will remain here for a month. Both get in your nappies changed when needed. So this means you're going to put a nappy on me? I don't have any choice in the matter. I have to put a nappy on you. So lay down and we'll put your nappy on. Knickers come off. And nappy goes on. You deserve every minute of that nappy going on. Naughty girl. I can change my own nappies. No you won't. 
I'm your mother you will leave the nappy changing. Okay, I'm out shopping again. I need some more of these. Ah, this is something I haven't tried yet. Pasta baked home fry? What am I waiting for? The best. All of my shopping done. So, what am I waiting for? Let's get this paid for. Better make a run for it. Another gorgeous day. This is Mr. Multiple of 1501. I have arrived. Mr. Multiple? I didn't hear you come in. Of course not. That's the point of a surprise visit. Of course it is. Silly me. Is this your new house? It is indeed. We moved in last week. And does little Scarlet behave herself? She can be very naughty sometimes if I'm completely honest. How do you discipline her? The first time she does something naughty, I put her in time out. But if she repeats that naughtiness after her corner time's up, I put her to bed. Time to change your nappy, Scarlet. No, Mummy. Are you being naughty? You are, aren't you? Refusing to have your nappy changed is very naughty, Scarlet. No. Yes, it is. Come on, let's change your nappy and then put you in the corner. Naughty baby. Okay, I finally got here. Despite the bus's constant lateness. Now it's time to get myself ready for work. Uh, which I am right now. So I'll see you later. Gosh, Lucy. You do look upset. That's because I am. 
Whatever is the matter? Do tell me. I'm just fed up with being teased for being an auntie at 14. Who's teasing you about it? Ha ha ha. Lucy's 14, and an auntie. She has to change dirty nappies sometimes. Ha 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 ha. Him. Oh Lucy. Please don't cry. I can't help it, miss. Edmund teases me all the time. Ha 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 ha. Put a nappy on the baby. She really needs one. Edmund Jones. Cut that out, right now. Poor Lucy's had enough of your teasing. Ha 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 ha. Change your nappy baby. You messed yourself. Shut your fucking trap, you bastard. I'm going to let that one slide, as she's upset. Ha ha ha. I'm surprised you're not pregnant yet. Why would I want to be a mother at my age? That's too early. Wait a minute. You want me to get pregnant so you can tease me about being pregnant, don't you? Lucy, sweetheart. Look at me, I can't bear to see you so upset. I feel really sorry for you. But I must ask you. Do you have a boyfriend? That she doesn't know mistake. And have you two been wahooing? We've done it a couple of times. With protection. Ha 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 ha. You're pregnant. I knew it. Tell me why you rushed into. Lucy baby, are you okay? No, babes. I feel sick. Sick sick or pregnant sick? Pregnant sick. You might want to go to the nurse. I think there might be a baby in there. Don't worry baby. We're going to find out if you're pregnant or not. Well kids. The test came back positive. You're going to have a baby. Congratulations. Right on. Jackpot. I'm pregnant. I'm about to become a mummy. This is truly amazing news. I'm going to be a daddy. I can't wait to tell my family. And I'm glad to still be with the father of my child. You're lucky to still be with your child's father. Most teen parents split up months before their child is born. This is our child Lucy. I never leave you. This is my situation as much as nerves. I'm glad you're happy about being pregnant. Having this baby might do you some good. We are just thrilled to learn we're about to be parents. Are you ready to? Oh my goodness. Lucy, are you pregnant? Yes, Sandra, I am. Pretty exciting, isn't it? But you're only 14. Are you sure you want to be a mother while still at school? I'm sure. Where's Scarlett? She's at home with mom and dad. You should talk to them about your situation to find out if they're okay with it. Are you okay with it? That's not my decision to make. The decision whether or not you can keep your baby is for mom and dad to make. That's our happy couple.